Let us understand consumer oriented e-commerce applications. E-commerce is nothing but buying or selling products or services over the internet. Nowadays, a wide variety of consumer oriented applications are available. They are classified into different types like entertainment services, financial services, information services, essential services, education services. In this way, there are a number of e-commerce applications. Let us understand some of them here. First one, it is personal finance management. Personal finance management or it is also known as remote banking remote banking the advancement in digital services like that is the, the advancement in digital devices like desktops or laptops or mobiles the comfort has been increasing this helped the people to do the banking transactions from home such a home based or home banking services are classified into three types they are basic services intermediate services and advanced services so the main advantage of a personal finance management or a remote banking is people can do the banking transactions from home and they are classified into three types basic services intermediate services and advanced services and as part of basic services people can have various services like first one checking the bank balance nowadays many banks permit us to give a missed call when we give a missed call we get the latest bank balance similarly using a missed call we can generate a mini statement we receive um, uh, the mini statement in the form of uh, an sms similarly stop a payment request in case of checks people issue the checks after issuing the check uh, they may change their minds and they may request they may request the bank to stop the payments this also can be done right from home next one is a fund transfer people can transfer the amounts uh, either to family members or friends or any business organizations right from home using this facility that is known as remote banking and bill payments people can pay the uh, i mean we can clear the bills like monthly electricity bills okay so in this way different types of bills can be cleared using these basic services that is remote banking services now let us understand intermediate services of remote banking first one it is stock holding that is nothing but shares uh, people purchase the shares and people sell the shares for this people need dmat account people need a dmat account and generally this dmat account is attached with bank account whereby whenever a customer purchases any shares the amount gets deducted from the corresponding bank account similarly whenever the customer sells the shares the amount gets credited into the attached bank account this also can be done right from home next one is the filing income tax returns this one can be done very easily sim simply by sitting at our home and last one is advanced services as part of remote banking include card management people may be having different types of credit cards or debit cards so clearing those credit card dues or else converting the credit card due amount into 
EMIs, Equated Monthly Installments. So these are all the things that can be <coughs> done very easily uh, using this remote banking. Similarly, a request for increasing the credit card limit. So this also can be done very easily using this remote banking facility. Next one is the mutual fund services. Mutual funds are also something like shares and such mutual fund services can also be done very easily using this remote banking. Next one is the currency trading. If we go to any other country, uh, then we need that particular country's uh, currency. So such money exchange, currency trading can also be done very easily using this uh, remote banking. Now, so these are the three uh, remote banking uh, uh, services the, as part of a personal finance management uh, services are available. Basic services, intermediate services and advanced services. Now let us move on to next application that is uh, home shopping. So home shopping, e-commerce is nothing but we know uh, very well that e-commerce is nothing but buying or uh, selling products or services over the internet uh, using uh, different types of uh, electronic devices. And the main uh, aim of customers is buying best products at uh, cheaper prices. For this, different shopping platforms are available and they are TV based shopping, catalog based shopping and web based shopping. The TV based shopping includes uh, people watch different TV channels like Napatol, one channel is there, Home Shop 18, another channel is there they continuously showcase different products and whenever people like those products they select them and they place the orders and they get the products however this particular model is not so interactive maybe uh, for money payments or maybe for exchanges returns so it is not so convenient model Next one is the catalog based shopping. People specify the requirements. So people may be having different uh, requirements. So they specify their requirements. Then software assistance. Some people call it as chart boards are also known as software assistance. They go, they go through the catalogs of various organizations and suggest the products to the customers. So people simply by sitting at home, they specify the requirements and it is the chart boards or software assistants which scan the catalogs of different organizations, brochures of different organizations and they suggest the suitable products. So this one can be considered as a chart and shop model. And the next model, very, very important model and very popular one is web-based shopping or it is also nowadays known as app-based shopping. So in this model, e-commerce sellers, that is the online sellers, maintain a website or app and people visit uh, that particular website using either laptops or desktops and some people may make use of the apps which are installed in, in their mobiles and they purchase the products. So in this way, there are three different types of home shopping models available. Uh, they are TV based shopping, which is not so interactive. Next one is a catalog based shopping in which people specify the requirements and a software assistants uh, go through uh, the different catalogs, online catalogs and they suggest the products and the last one it is web based or home based shopping very popular one in which people visit the websites or people use the apps of different organizations and they purchase the products. 
now let us move on to the next e-commerce application that is home entertainment and nowadays uh, different types of uh, home entertainment opportunities are available a dth that is a direct to home this particular service has been flourishing and a number of apps like netflix disney plus hotstar youtube amazon prime youtube prime in this way number of apps are available for people which provide the services like video on demand or movie on demand that is people can watch the required movie or the required video using these service providers so different providers are there of course number of number of providers are there nowadays and let us see their working mechanism so video servers are there uh, which store uh, um, whether it is videos or movies videos means uh, uh, maybe cricket uh, uh, replays i mean cricket match videos or football match videos they are also stored in the form of libraries similarly movies so these are all uh, are stored in video servers and number of dth service providers like amazon prime or netflix or disney hotstar in this way these are all can be considered as a direct to home service providers or video service providers they provide as uh, what is known as program selection interface program selection interface using which we can look for the required product so uh, people across the world customers across the world using this particular service that is a program selection interface they can select the required video and they can watch it so latest movies or uh, cricket match replays in this way people can watch the required videos or <coughs> movies and based on the type of video or uh, the type of movie that is watched the billing amount is calculated and such billing amount is stored once again in video servers so this is how the home shopping i mean home entertainment has been flourishing nowadays now let us move on to the very last one that is micro transactions of information so in micro micro transactions people purchase virtual goods for small amounts of money so here there are no digital goods i mean physical goods there are digital goods which are purchased for small amounts of money and such micro transactions generally occur in video games so people play the video games and they pay the amount um, different types of uh, online games are nowadays available so for uh, playing uh, that particular uh, game people need to pay the amount so the video games are offered as a paid service with which people can play the games on television sets or mobiles such video games industry uh, has been minting money like anything uh, that's the reason why there is uh, so much of amount is involved in this one even though the individual consumer customer pays very less amount uh, but together uh, collectively there is a lot of amount involved so these are all consumer oriented e-commerce applications